back, it's Zion from You Cut the Band. And this week we're going over Can't Help Falling in Love. What you just heard was our low G arrangement. At yukeondemand.com, we also have a high G version available. We're going to go over the first part of the lesson in this video, but you can get the rest of the tutorial and all the tabs over at yukeondemand.com. Let's get started. 99% of this arrangement revolves around triplet notes. So the timing is going to be pretty simple. To begin, we're going to start off with the picking pattern that makes up the majority of this song. So I'll turn to the side so you can get a better angle. And you're going to pick the G string and A string. So we're not playing the song yet, we're just learning the pattern. So G string and A string together. And then you're going to pick C, E, A, E, C. And that pattern you're just going to play again and again. So one more time, the, the two outer strings together, A and G. Then C, E, A, E, C. So all together. And we're just going to keep stringing these again and again. And that makes the pretty much the entire song, the finger picking pattern that the entire song revolves around. So now let's introduce some of the chords within this song. So to play that section, we're going to start off in a C chord. So that's simply the third fret of the A. And we're going to do that same pattern. So picking the outer strings, the A string and the G string. Then C, E, A, E, C. And we leave the chord there the whole time. Next, we're going to jump up here to this E minor. Now you might be thinking... E minor is, looks like this, and that's true, but this is also an E minor, so it's going to be barring the 7th fret, pinky on the 10th fret of the A string, and ring finger on the 9th fret of the G string. And you might have noticed that in the demonstration I did just a second ago, I used my started off with my pinky, so that way I wouldn't have to switch fingers when I was coming up here to do this shape. So, after you've done that, you're going to still follow the same pattern, G and A together, and then C, E, A, E, C. Next, we're going to come down to this A minor, and a, this A minor is simply going to have the 2nd fret of the G and 3rd fret of the A, and then the rest of this pattern. And then here at the tail end of this measure, it starts to deviate just a little bit. So we start off the same. We're going to pick the outer strings together. Then C and E and A. But instead of going back down to the other strings, we're simply going to start coming up on the A string. So we're going to come to the 5th fret. And then the 7th. And then we're going to come into this barred F chord. And so you're going to be barring the 5th fret and have the pinky or the ring finger, whichever one's more comfortable for you, on the 8th fret of the A string. And you're going to, again, still, we're still following the same pattern. Alright, then we're going to bring the bar up 2 more frets into a barred C chord now. And so we're going to be barring the 7th fret, middle finger on the 8th fret of the E, and ring finger on the, ten on the 9th fret of the G. And same pattern. Then we're going to come down here to a G5. So that's index 2nd fret C middle on the 3rd fret of E, and pinky on the 5th fret of A. And this chord gets the pattern twice. And now we're going to go into a normal F chord and do the pattern just once. 
then into a G chord. So that's going to be the second fret of the C, ring finger on the third fret of the E, middle finger on the second fret of the A. And then moving into the next bar, we're going to go back into that A minor we did before with the ring finger on the third fret of A. And uh, we're going to do the pattern just once. And here we're going to skip doing the pattern for just a brief moment. Instead, we're going to be barring the fifth fret. And you're going to strum that once. Seventh fret of the A. Eighth fret. And then back to the pattern again. We're going to come up two more frets to this C chord we did just a second ago. Back to G5. And finally C, and we're going to do the pattern twice. And that brings us to the end of the first section. So playing it through one more time all together very slowly would sound like this. And what's nice about this song is everything you just played gets repeated a second time. So the next section of the song is going to look exactly the same as this part. You're just going to play it twice. And next, the next difference that would come up in the song would be the bridge. And that's how to play the first part of Can't Help Falling in Love. To get the rest of the tutorial, head over to ukeondemand.com. And subscribe below so you don't miss our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials. We'll see you next time.